anti-Semitism in Florida with tougher criminal penalties. Governor Ron DeSantis just signing the bill that makes crimes like littering the streets with anti-Semitic writings or displaying hateful messages on buildings third-degree felonies. Our Suji Nam joins us live in Palm Beach County tonight where there have been several acts of anti-Semitism in recent months. Suji? Felicia, I talked to leaders at the Florida Holocaust Museum. They tell me that they are relieved how quickly lawmakers got the bill to Governor Ron DeSantis' desk and how quickly the governor signed it. This is a day where we are thankful for um, the upstanders in the world. Florida Holocaust Museum Board Chair Mike Eagle responds to unanimous bipartisan support from the legislature for House Bill 269, which aims to crack down on anti-Semitism and hate crimes. I'm an example of what happens when non-Jews stand up as upstanders to do the right thing. That's the reason I exist. So, and I know there are so many members of the community out there who aren't Jewish, who know this is important, this battle, and care. And on Thursday, bill co-sponsors, Representatives Mike Caruso and Randy Fine tweeted these photos in Israel as Governor Ron DeSantis signed the legislation. In the bill, it states that anyone who intentionally dumps litter onto private property for the purpose of intimidating someone and if it contains a credible threat, the person commits a third-degree felony. Similarly, if a person projects an image onto a building without the owner's consent, and if it contains credible threat, the crime is punishable as a third-degree felony. We have more work to do, and we should all continue to do This is not just a Jewish problem. Anti-Semitism is a problem in society, and the only way we will battle against it is by everyone coming together to fight it. The legislation comes after groups of individuals have traveled through Palm Beach County and all over the Sunshine State, tossing packets with hate speech and projecting swastikas onto buildings. All you have to do is ask, what can I do to help out? The first thing you have to do is care. And there's so many more of us who care than, than those who don't. And last month, Palm Beach County commissioners unanimously approved of an emergency ordinance that also aimed to crack down on anti-Semitism. Leaders say that today is a great day to move forward, but the conversation is far from over. Reporting live in Palm Beach County tonight, I'm Suji Nam for WPBF 25 News.